What is up, young artists? Welcome back to How to Draw a Notch. So, let's go ahead and start off where we left off. Right now, you can, as you can see, I'm starting on the eyeballs. Same basic shape, uh, like a football, you know, make a football for the eye. As you can see, I'm, I'm working, I'm touching up on the beard itself. And I actually have, before I started this video, I touched up and fine-tuned some of my lines and made more dimples on the face, if you can see closely. Now, if now as you can see, I mess up on the eye a lot, and it took me a long time. This video was uh, originally... Uh, 42 minutes long, so it took a lot of uh, a lot of fine tuning and a lot of polishing on this drawing, and that's what you have to do, you know. And I hope this actually looks like I think it looks like Notch, and I hope you guys think it think so too. And don't worry, there will be a practice sheet coming out uh, shortly after this video, probably today, most likely. So yeah, guys, this eye is actually going to be slightly bigger than the eye to the left. So yeah, and then. Like I said in the eyebrows before in my previous video, I said his uh, look actually looks really complex and curious. So make one eyebrow t tilt it up right there, and make in the point right there make it much more sharper and linear, like that. So guys, if I'm not explaining this well, please send a message in the comment section below saying, "Hey man, uh, this wasn't really that helpful. Uh, do you think you could explain better?" And okay, all right. And guys, if you hear a barking noise, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, as you can see, I shaded a little bit around the eyes right there. And if you're wondering, my dog is actually part Chihuahua. Hi, Shut up, Scooter. <laughs> Had to do some puppy discipline. So yeah, and try to keep the darkness of both eyebrows um, at a level of uh, shade. You know, keep them balanced. You know, keep the shade balanced. And as you can see, I'm already doing the pupils right there. Maybe I should put my little Chihuahua on a taco, and maybe have some sour cream and some cheese, and you know, some Tabasco sauce. <laughs> sauce. Hey, hey. All right. Sorry about that. So, our uh, so, as you can see, I'm already making the pupils of the eyes, and don't worry, I'll go more in-depth when the practice sheet video comes out. So, yeah, look forward to that. I didn't, uh, honestly, I'll real admit this video wasn't really that um, informative, but the practice sheet will, hopefully, to you guys. I know there's a lot of artists think, well, I, I can't do this. I mean, yeah, it's cool to draw knots, but I can't do it, you know? It's easier to say what I'm doing but really explaining it in depth is another thing and the practice sheet again will come out shortly after this video will be published and yeah so in this video we're going to make the fedora which is going to be Notch's black little hat I would like to call it the pimp hat because Notch is a virtual pimp in my eyes <laughs> and don't mistake in the outlining the eyes as uh, as an eyeliner, I know it looks really dark, but it's not supposed to be eyeliner. You know, not just not a woman. So guys, <laughs> take that in consideration of the drawing, you know. And note that I am using the Faber Castell Graffiti Pencil Set, which I just made a video about that. I made a review about that. I published it on my channel, so go ahead. Be sure to check that out and fair like that. And hopefully it'll give you a more in-depth look of pencils and maybe what you should get. But honestly, materials don't really have to do with anything with making a good drawing all right now you can see right there I'm already starting on the little fedora the little fedora hat and at first it'll look like a cowboy hat don't worry uh, it would be cool if Notch was a Sweden cowboy but he's not <laughs> uh, you can picture him as one you know make a little cowboy hat you know <laughs> a little whip yeah but yeah we're not making him a cowboy today we're just making him uh, really we're just trying to be as accurate as possible uh, from the picture on Google Images to the picture right here. And you can use any picture of him, you know? And hopefully, me uh, introducing this will actually uh, hopefully make you draw uh, uh, better portraits in the future, if you're interested in that. As you see, I uh, use one of my darker pencils. I, that one, 
the pencil that I'm using right now is actually the 6B, the darkest pencil out of the Faber Castell graffiti set. And that's really good for shading as well, guys. As you see, I'm already doing the, the flaps and the wrinkles in the main hat itself. And I'm also doing the light shade right there to the top left. And then I'm going ahead and doing some more dark shading below that to give it more of a good shade. You know, make it more realistic. Alright. And you can see the different, uh, the, the different kinds of shades I'm using right here. And I'm using my shading technique which is just using your index finger or your thumb or any finger on your hand not the middle finger probably that would be inappropriate <laughs> I don't want to flip you guys off when I'm doing my videos but yeah you can just you know rub some lead with your finger and then do that it'll cover the page and again make it more realistically I actually stressed a lot about this in my video uh, this previous the previous video now I'm making the actual strap really dark, okay, so put a lot of pressure on your pencil. Uh, if you have the graffiti set I'm using, use the 6B definitely because it's a darker shade and it'll actually make the uh, whole strap much more darker. And again, I'm doing that uh, same rubbing technique, so guys, don't forget about that. You can use your own technique, it, maybe it's similar to mine or maybe it's completely different to mine, you know, so yeah. And if you guys, and also I'd like to hear some feedback from you guys if my technique is actually helping you. If not, send me a message, maybe I can improve my technique, and you know, yeah. So I would love to hear some feedback for you guys, and also I take requests as well. So yeah, improving the nose and again fine tuning the lines, and I'm making the, uh, I'm actually making some shading right there from the hat on, uh, the shading from on the hat from uh, the shading from the hat. I cannot talk. The shading from the hat on the actual forehead. Again, much more realistic and much more gritty. I like that. And you will see in a little bit that I'm improving on his cheeks, making it a little bit more chubbier. Not insulting Notch, of course. You know he's a little husky, like I said. You know, I I'm not the thin thinnest person either. Like I said again. <laughs> So, yes, I'm not insulting him. He's actually a really good guy. So, yeah, he made this game, so he's awesome. He made Minecraft, so, yeah. And also, I actually made that hair and I erased it. You don't want to make really drapey hair right there. Now, looking at the video right now, I guess I could have improved a little bit, but don't worry. I think I did good. For, you know, this is actually the first time me drawing knots, so hopefully you guys think it's really good, you know? And I think it's good. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, uh, gloat or anything, you know, toot my own horn, but I think it looks pretty, I think it came out really good than expected. I hope you guys think the same thing too, and I, and hopefully you will make the same awesome drawing. Not the exact same, you know, it's hard to make adaptions of the same drawing when you see it on videos. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it's really educational. Stay tuned for the practice sheet that will come out that will explain, you know, all the things that I've um, explained in the video, but more in depth, and you'll see it much closer. And then I'm making the whole, uh, the uh, forehead, you know, making the little lines right there, the facial features, and then I'm making their cheeks a little bit more chubbier. And you'll see in a little bit that the below the beard, I'm doing so much more darker shading. So yeah. Right now, I'm actually uh, fine-tuning the lines of the beard, and I'm making them more darker. It, uh, again, adds more shading. Adds more shading, makes it more realistic. Makes it look like a photo, in other words. So, yeah, guys, just do that around the beard like that. You know, just, you don't have to make a dark little squiggly line. So all you have to do is just draw um, the lines, you know, just, just shade, basically. And right there, and then I'm doing some more shading. Shading, I love shading. It makes the drawings more realistic, especially portraits. So, yeah, this is going to be about the end of the video. Again, stay tuned for the practice sheet that will come uh, soon after this video. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more portraits like this. Again, fine-tuning lines, you know, shading and good shiz biz like that. So guys, uh, send requests, you know, I'm doing actually a series about this, you know, portraits and stuff like that.
I'm not really sure about doing the Chicken People series anymore. I, th I might discontinue that, or, you know, I might pick it up, who knows, but it might be a little while, it might be a lot while before I actually pick up or renew that actual series. And also, I'm going to renew my other series, really, How to Draw Realistic Food. Uh, the other one I did, the hamburger one, wasn't really that good. It's probably one of my worst drawings I ever made. But the original one was pretty good, so I'm actually going to try to renew that at the best I can. So this is a good overlook of the actual drawing right there. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.